Good day, this is Brad Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. That means very simple that I continue to work on the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. We are going to deal today with an update about something that has been lacking for a very long time. From holy wing nuts to drone essentials to partake in the power and knowledge of God. See, there's a highway to heaven versus the New World Order, restorative justice number 38. I'm talking about stuff that I believe is very simple to understand. However, a lot of people have questions about it, but they don't dare to talk about it because of their relationships with other people. People that are believers, people that are pastors, people that have been telling them how to believe, what to believe and why to believe without question. Now, the beauty of God is God says, let us reason. That means that if you have a different opinion, you should be able to express that. And that is what I want you to do today. Talk to me, let me know. And in particular, let me know that you are interested by subscribing. That doesn't mean anything, it doesn't cost you anything. The only difference is that if I have enough people that subscribe, there will be an, a little financial reward that will help to pay the bills and take care of certain things that we do need to take care of as everyone else. Bye for now. You know what I like so very much that we are supposed to be intellectuals. We are supposed to be people that can reason. We are supposed to be people that when we difference in opinion, that we can have a conversation. Yet when we look at the complexity of society today, with all the social media, we are also realizing that there is a group of people that like to utilize certain things. And one of them is PMS. They use the politics, they use money, and they use spirituality or religion. So when I came to this understanding, it took me a long time. Some of you know by now that I'm 70 years of age. I was born in 1915, June. That makes me 70 years plus a half a year. And the Lord has given us 120 years to live. And if we want to live according to the word of God, we can even live longer. Because God had built us, had created us to become eternal living people. In other words, we could live forever but there are certain conditions. It's like a car. If a car has a disability, in other words, it had an accident, it was too close to the corner and someone hit it, it has to be redone. It has to be fixed. But sometimes your car is in perfect shape. And what happens then? The car all of a sudden has a hiccup because there is a little flaw. There's a little problem discovered. Somebody has maybe not used the proper wiring or not whatever was necessary there. And so that causes that we have an update. And spiritually, we have the same problem. Because your church has been around for 1500 years, doesn't mean it was right for 1500 years. If you like history like I do, then you will find out that in history, a lot of things keep on repeating itself for the simple reason that people don't seem to be willing to learn from the past. So why don't we learn from the past together? Instead of being a person that is close-minded, that is like the picture of a man or a woman that is all rumpled, kaput as they say in Indonesia, you know, your face is all whatever it is, because you're mad, you're constantly mad, you're frowning constantly, and your whole, whole attitude is frowning. It's one big frown. Well, if you can smile, if you can relax because you have the peace of God over you and in you, because that is actually the secret. See, so many things we have learned today. And that is why I took the holy wing nuts. Yesterday, we talked about the holy wing nuts. Those are the enablers of Christianity that are supporting Trump. By now, some people have come to the understanding that Mr. Trump is not doing what he says. 
It's America first and he's filling his pockets. All his buddies are filling their pockets. They have right now increased the, uh, oh, the load of repayments by $5.2 trillion. Mr. Trump in his Mar-a-Lago uh, residence is spending hundreds of millions of dollars for what? Folks, you might find out that you got yourself a rat and somebody that claims an America first is forgotten to say he meant with America Trump first. He is a narcissist. We know that. And if you don't know it and don't agree with me, that is okay. Remember, we are having a discussion. We are forming an opinion. You, your opinion. I am voicing my opinion. And actually, it's not so much voicing my opinion, of voicing my experience of having been uh, blind for so long that my eyes finally open. And that is part of the problem we have in society. How many people can inspire you? Some of us like to read and we get inspired by a book. Others listen to music and they get inspired by music. But have you been lately inspired by somebody that shared with you their personal life experience, how God was with them, although they were out and about and they were drowning in the sorrow, in the misery, and finally the eyes opened and God gave them wisdom or God had given them wisdom all the time, but they now were willing to receive the wisdom and the guidance from God and therefore they got gotten out of their problems. This is what we're talking about. We're not talking about the hallelujah, praise the Lord and I feel so good. I'm talking about a day-to-day -day victory, a victorious life because you walk with God. But first and foremost, you need to know who you are. And if you don't know who you are, you have to have a little discovery. And let's find out who we really are. The Highway to Heaven versus the New World Order. Restorative justice number 38. That means very simple. That there is a group of people that have been working on the revamping of the New World Order. Some of you say, ah, I don't want to talk about this. That is not what we are doing. But I just want to acknowledge it. There are people that have been trying since the day that this world was old. A day old to take over the world, to take over power, to take over the money. And some of you folks are serving him. You know it. His name is Beelzebub. Or some people know him as Lucifer. Or some people know him as a Freemason. Or some people know him as a Illuminati. A Zionist. And some people may know him as the man of all the gold and all the silver. But there's a little problem. As Beelzebub is manifesting himself as an individual that can only lie, cheat, steal and destroy. He is also the father of all lies. And so when I started with a restorative justice, that was not because I was so smart. I was listening to the natives, the natives in Canada and America, those that were the original people that lived in the United States. There were no white men there. There were no black men there. There were Indians, the natives. And they had their own name, the First Nations and all different stations in life. And they were happy. They were enjoying life till they met the white men with their religions and their falsifications of life. Because if you were not white, if you had no blue eyes, you were not sent by God. And sometimes some of the people bought the story that that was the way that God designed mankind. And so people that had no white color, people that were color, or people that had a different color than white, they were lesser treated than those that were white. And so Satan has been able to manifest something that is so sad. 
all he did was manipulating people against the values. God had said, God created, and Satan manipulated. Why am I saying that? I shared this before. Adam and Eve, they were apprentices of God. God created them. And for some of you, this might be new, but the soil that God took, some people call it Mother Earth. And I have stayed away from that for a long time because I did not understand. But Mother Earth is the soil and Father God Almighty blew on it. When his anointing came over that soil, all of a sudden we had life. And God is life. God is an almighty God with some power because he speaks in a different language. His language is the 12th dimension language. A language of light, a language of power, a language of creation. And we live in a society in 2020 where we see the United States being taken down single-handedly by one man, Mr. Trump, a narcissist, controlled by Bibi, controlled by Russians, controlled by weird people that believe that they are the gods of all the money. Yes, folks, there are some people that think that way. They are called Illuminati. They were so illuminated that they know everything. And in the meantime, they kill, they destroy, and they will charge you interest for everything you do. Yet God has given us that freely. He said, choose life. And every time that we came to that decision, I go back to Adam and Eve. We are talking history now. Adam and Eve had something special. They walked and they knew how to speak the language of God. They were perfected in it because God had created them that way. And how come that it sucks when you and I are praying and we don't even feel we're getting through the ceiling? Why did we lose the power of communicating with God? Or are we miscommunicating? You see, when I use my cell phone, and that is something that is funny, you carry it always with you, it's my cell phone. Yes, folks, I got a little cover on it, but this is my cell phone. Isn't that amazing? This is a cell phone. Why am I saying that? Some people say, that's not a cell phone. In the old days, we used to have those big phones. I used to have them too. But life has improved. Life has gone ahead. And we now use different tools to communicate with each other. They call it social media. And I tell you, last year in 2019, when I had finished my book, I was asked when I published it to make a video and I didn't know how to do that. And now, a year later, I've made over 250 videos. I know now, almost with my eyes closed, how to do it. But remember, I am 70 years of age and there's one thing I've learned, that when I am old, I will be in, planted on the water side. I will be like a young tree. So I am not old. I am aged 70 years, but my mind is sharp. My mind is clear. Why? Because God keeps on feeding me as long as I am staying on the water side. Folks, this is not just a song. This is something that you and I may experience if we want to. Isn't that awesome? Well, I must admit, I get excited because when we are looking at restorative justice, what are we restoring? We restore the relationship between God Almighty and mankind. Because nowadays with the pandemic, we are paying a debt. See, most people don't realize that. They're wondering, what is this scenario? Is this from the people? Is this from that? Is this who created this bug? Who I can tell you a lot of stories because I'm trying to understand it too. But I don't know. But I know one thing that God says that we are a prodigal son. See, I always believed that I was a Christian. I was born a Christian, raised a Christian. When my mom died, I was six years old. I went into an orphanage with my brothers and sisters for seven years. And after my father remarried, 
joining the nation lady, uh, I kind of didn't fit in the family anymore. So I was kicked out on the street and lived on the street since then. And finally, by the grace of God, I've been able to settle and get established and ended up working on Wall Street. Yes, folks, you can live on the street and increase. But coming back to the restoration, I started to wonder when I got attacked by people that I thought were friends. See, at one time when I, what I'd learned on Wall Street, I applied to my own business. We lived in Canada at that time and my business started growing and growing and we started doing millions of dollars. And my friends wanted in on the deal. And I told them that what I had was more for people that I wanted to work with that had never made a million dollars in their life. And so we had 100 people that we picked, not randomly, but people that I got to know and then all had a desire to do something, to share with friends or have some kind of a foundation. And each of them would be possibly get a million to $10 million in their foundation so that they could do some positive work. My friend who was a multimillionaire was also the head of the Freemasons. At that time, it didn't mean anything to me because we had you know, been friends for 10 years and we worked together, we did business together. But then when I said no, boy, did he show me who he was. He told me I would regret it. And I must admit, I lost everything I had. Over $10 million gone to lawyers and everything. My farm was gone to 40 acre, 48 acres. Everything, access to the private planes and the helicopters were gone. All the cars were gone. And I ended up in jail six years times three because I dared say no. And maybe you understand now why I became very critical because I had to defend myself because if you have no money, there are no lawyers. And so I asked for a law book and we started. My wife and I both were accused because something had happened in my business. People that I hired were very highly qualified people, I believed. They had all the documentation, all the licensing necessary to run finances, to sell homes, etc., etc. I had even White House clearances working on my computer systems and programs and everything was done by the book, I believed. Till I discovered that the people I shook hands with and had signed documents with, they, uh oh, mistakes. What was the mistake? Greed. People were measured by greed. The grittier you are, the better it is. If you like to be a friend of Trump, you got to be a billionaire or a greedy billionaire or a guy that wants to be a billionaire or show that you have a big mouth. And then you might be able to maneuver your way in to get a few more billions from him if he thinks you can work out for him. Unfortunately, that is not only Trump's attitude, it is the attitude of the church as well. And you say, how can you say that? Well, folks, I did go to church, I did go to Bible school, Sunday school, and I went to seminary. I worked as an evangelist for 12 years in maximum security as a counselor. It is different when you can walk in and walk out when you're done, or if you have to stay there because you are a prisoner. And I learned certain things that are very hard to learn unless you go through it. It's called practical experience. And so I had to learn that the way we were working as Christians, because those are the people that I'm talking about. I'm not talking political. I'm not talking about those that are following Trump. I'm talking about the body of Christ. They are the enablers of Satan. Uh-oh, enablers of Satan. Yes, folks, someone that is a slave from Satan is an enabler because you make Satan able to do all those things and you become a slave. Now, why am I saying that? The highway to heaven, God sent his son, his son, Yeshua Hamashiach. And yet the 25th of December, we all pray, oh, Jesus. But Jesus was not his name. The son of God was called different. Now, mind you, I'm not sure if God will be upset when you call him by a nickname, Jesus and Christus or Christ, because you do it with reference. You think you're praying to somebody. But did you know that God had a whole different setup? When Jesua HaMessiah came in this world, it was around zero because that's where most people started counting, the Christian church at least. But around 30, that is where Jesua was very active. 
And what happened? He taught the people about his father, our father. But how can I get connected? And how can I be elevated to get the knowledge and understanding about God? See, we have to change our thinking, called the paradigm change. You think you are following Jesus Christ in the church. I'm talking as a man that spoke in tongues, believes in tongues, laid hands on the sick, and they got healed. But there was nothing in comparison to what Jesua taught the disciples. The disciples, those are men and women that followed God Almighty. And they followed Jesua HaMashiach, the way, the truth, and the light. And see, that is the aspect that we are missing in society. We are looking for money, 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 money. If I have more money, I can do this and this and this. Well, God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Now, why is that? Because we as a society have been brainwashed. Going to the schools, when you're born, see, I got a slap on my bum and a couple of drops of water and I was a Roman Catholic. I had no idea what it meant because I was there in the flesh. I was a little baby, but I couldn't talk. But once I started learning to talk and I learned to communicate, I started to figure out a few things. Now, what did you figure out? The things we figure out in life are quite often worthwhile. But why do you want to stay a little baby that is always trained? You always got milk fed by the pastor, fed by the priest, fed by the Pope, fed by whatever. Well, God says, I will teach you. See, when you become the follower of Jesua HaMessiah, you are not a Christian. You are following the way, the truth, and the light. That is a personal path with God. And the people fighting right now, and when I say the people fighting right now about Jerusalem and the false promises that Trump made you to say, oh, I recognize Israel and Trump, just betrayed the Americans by sending a whole bunch of medication to Israel, planes to Israel, etc., etc., because he hates losing and he will torpedo America, burn America, let them die. Yes, folks, that is what Mr. Trump is all about. He ordered medication and stopped that so that it could go to Israel. Today is the ninth, the yeah, the ninth of December, and that means that you could have received the medication already, which was just received by Israel because Trump had ordered to send it all there. The planes that are going in in security flights all over the United States, and therefore keeping an eye on what is coming from Russia, that would support as well Europe. He sold those planes off and gave them away to Israel because he is such a loyalist. He will destroy America because they did not re-elect him. Hey, folks, are we missing something here? The enablers of God, the holy wingnuts, those that are the body of Christ, praising and praying that Trump will be re-elected. Folks, when I say you are wrong, you don't believe me. But now that there is a pandemic, what are you eating up? You are paying a debt to Satan because the new Jerusalem is in your heart, folks. You don't have to fight for Jerusalem. God said, I will create. And if God speaks, he has his angels. But we need to learn to communicate with God. And when we learn to understand what God says, he said something very simple. Follow the way, the truth, and the light. He had already 
the covenant, the Ten Commandments ready. And he gave them to the Jewish people. And Moses came back with the Ten Commandments. They were for the children of light. Guess what happened? Moses found them sinning, partying, drunk. And he destroyed those tablets and was so mad. And then he went back to God and said, Sorry, Lord, I, I lost it for a moment. And God said, I and I will give you the Ten Commandments for those that, that can't hold them anyway. And why was Jesus so upset <clears throat> when he was talking to the Pharisees and the Sadducees? You see, all those years they had the law. God is the law. And Jesus said, you are of the synagogue of Satan. Folks, I see Paulo White, Sid Roth, Pat Robertson, John Hakey, Kenneth Copeland, and many, many others from the body of Christ in the United States, following, supporting a man that is controlled by his evil desires. And when we read the Bible, that means very simple. He lives under the control of Satan. That simple. Okay. Do I judge him? No, I'm just stating what I see. If you steal, you steal. If you lie, you lie. You decide what you want to do. Now, you folks that are enabling this man to continue, you're foolish enough to give him 20, 20 million people have given him at least $170 million to do what? To fill his own pockets, folks. All it is with Mr. Trump is me, 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 and myself. Did I mention myself? That is Mr. Trump. And so when you come to that point that you don't see and understand that God will give you peace, God will protect you. God says, why do you not choose for life? See, we have two choices. We can either choose death or we can choose life. Satan is the God of death. And when we violate the laws of God, which we are doing on a daily basis, and we can e cannot even hold the Ten Commandments, we now are indebted to Satan. That is the story, folks, that I had to discover the hard way. Going through um, 18 years of criminal court, or court first, because it was thrown out several times, and on the Canadian law that should have been sufficed. But they kept on coming back because they are the supposedly big shots. The Freemasons, they control all kinds of stuff. So, when I had to defend ourselves, my wife and I, we defended ourselves for 12 years without lawyers. We lost the case, eventually. And 2012, I was sentenced six years times three. My, 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 my. But we won on appeal. See, the challenge is, during that process, I had to accept a couple of facts. That what we were taught, what I believed, my professors, my teachers, the pastors that I had been accepting their truth from, were wrong. And in court, although my intent was right, I was judged on the fact that it happened. Under my watch, certain things had happened in my company, and I was liable. And that made me understand finally Paul, the Apostle Paul, who was a master in the law. Once you start to understand the law, you come to an understanding that there is something wrong with Christianity. Because Christianity existed over a hundred years, 134 years or longer even, before Christus was born. Jesus was born. Folks, if you live a couple of hundred years before you were born, where in the world are you guys getting Christianity from? They were pagan worshippers. So what you are right now is you are a pagan worshipper. And those that are hearing this video and don't like what I'm saying, I am sharing with you, you are a pagan worshipper till you open your eyes, folks. You mean well, your intentions are good, but you have been lied to. And because you don't like going back to history and finding out what is evidence of your faith, you are in a dilemma. And that is why we have a pandemic. We are paying a debt to Satan. And Satan lies, he destroys, he kills. 
this has taken me six decades to understand, one decade to formulate and put in a book. And now as I'm simplifying everything for each and every person, I know and understand that not everyone will get this message. But folks, I hope that those that are interested enough in a personal life, in their lives of their children, there is a way out. And it's called repentance. I had to acknowledge that I was a prodigal son. And when I acknowledged that, boy, did I get set free. Now, I must admit, preparing for these videos are always fun. I had a whole different story, but the reality is we have to go back to the basics. If you go back to basics, Yeshua never was a Christian. Yes, folks, Jesus Christ was not a Christian. The followers of Yeshua HaMashiach, that was his proper name, they were not followers of Christians. They were not followers. They were not Christian. They were on the way, the truth and the light. They learned to talk and walk as people from the light. Jesus, or Jesua, taught them how to be disciples of God Almighty. He said, and I am going to the Father, your Father, my Father. In other words, Jesua is my brother. And so are you. But you have to make a decision. And so the disciples, the first followers, the first believers, first century believers, for the first 300 years, they lived on the way, the truth and the light. And that is what was attacked. Because it was an emperor of Rome that demanded, after he had studied the various beliefs in his empire, that he liked the peaceful setting of the followers of Jesua, but he didn't like the fact that there was so much difference. So that is what got worked on. And so like Trump, he manipulated you. Trump, whatever he promised the body of Christ, I have no idea. But if you are now in the famous records of being the richest pastor in the books of Trump, I think you have reached a low in your life like there's no tomorrow. Yes, folks, I was rich too. <laughs> and I held over $5 billion worth of collateral. That means nothing. Because Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar and destroyer. But Jesua, Hamashiach said, follow the way, the truth and the light. And that is how you will sustain life. That is how you become victorious. That is how God can teach you directly. And folks, if that is what you want, then I hope that you do what I did. Tough times never last, but tough people do. I repented. I went back to the Father saying, sorry, Father, I was wrong. Forgive me. And you know what God does? He said, welcome, my son. Welcome, my daughter. Restorative justice is for you and me, prodigal sons and daughters. But if you're a Christian and you believe, well, you know that there are some stories about ten virgins, the five wives and the five foolish ones. Maybe you like to read that story again and says, I don't know you. Uh-oh. See, I don't want to hear that. I want to know that I'm welcome. I want to know that you are welcome. And that is why I'm inviting you. Please open your eyes. All the garbage you've been told. If you're standing in front of a judge, what is your evidence? It took me 12 years in front of the judge and I was ripped apart. Why did I give money? How did I dare do this? How this? And then gradually, but slowly, 
my eyes open what the system was all about. And when I realized the evidence that I had, that the belief system I have was not based on Yeshua HaMashiach, was not based on what he taught. It was based on what the emperor of Rome had concocted with the believers at that time. They were basically weak believers because they got so fed up being thrown in the arenas and killed by lions that they finally succumbed and say, okay, we will accept the Roman Catholic faith. And they all became Roman Catholics. Roman Empire decided what to believe and they didn't follow the faith that Yeshua started, faith in God Almighty, following the way, the truth and the light. So when you go back to the basics and you find evidence that what I say is correct, folks, we have to do a lot of repentance. But you know what? The Father will say, welcome my son. And that is why the story is, seek ye first the kingdom of God. See, you don't have to fight for Israel because God says, after the, the destruction of Jerusalem, it is said, 70 AD, when the tremendous, beautiful place of sacrifice was tarnished, it was all gone. And now we're working on the third. Oh, yes, folks, we're going to restore everything. But Jesus has done that already. God says, I am living in your heart. And in order to enter that kingdom, we have to do a few things. First of all, we have to acknowledge that we are that prodigal son. We are living in Shitsville. Yes, folks, you might not like it, but I lived in the manure. I was in jail and couldn't go anywhere for a very long time. But God says, seek you first the kingdom of God and all those other Things shall be added unto you. God will give you peace. He gives you joy. He will give you true wisdom. Because he loves you. Remember folks. Tough times never last. But tough people. They do. Bye for now.